pray to the Lord and ask him, what is your, what is your calling? What is your office? You know, are, are you meant to, to, to come into this thing to be a teacher? Or are you a, 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 a brother that's a friend of the a, a prophets? Are you a brother that's a, 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 to help the ministry? Whatever your lot may be, that's up to you to figure out between you and the Heavenly Father. You know? So. Because, because at the end of the day, what we want, you know, is for you to, to understand this thing like we do. Okay? To get you onto that level, that that's that's the most beneficial thing to us, okay? To, to this yep. whole ministry is for you to be built up like that because anything monetary or physical ain't gonna do it here. What's gonna build you up and what's gonna build us up is is each brother's mind. It ain't about you, and like you said, whether you're a help or a teacher or whichever version that the Heavenly Father set up for you to be a part of this thing, it's more beneficial that you have the understanding and can make it all the way. To salvation, right. you know, for the things. So you can hit that real quick. Right, is, uh, Romans two and twenty eight yep. says, "For he that for he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly; neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh." But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. So what you do on the inside? If you read the Bible, you'll see how there were other Israelites. They had high position and ranking. Uh, positions in, 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 uh, in the church but but in, in the um, in the in the, in the um, commonwealth so to speak but they were Jews outwardly they were Israelites and believers outwardly but on the inside they didn't really believe they were there to get money they were there to get that position and fame we're trying to make sure we build up the people that come up to us on the inside make sure that man is on point you know then the outward man will follow that inward man yeah. but if we build you up without if you get your fringes like, like we wear these because it's part of our custom and, and plus this is the, 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 the uniform, so to speak, we wear when we teach out here. But the most important part, because the word still comes out whether we're wearing this or not, most important part that you're dressed and your fringes are in here. That's right, bro. That's the most important part that we're trying to make sure that inward man is fully dressed. And then like I said, once that inward man is on point, the outward man's gonna follow, you know? So, so coming out, like the brother said, coming out and uh, asking questions, reading, praying, studying, all of those things, fasting and all, all of those different things, you know, and asking the Heavenly Father what, what, what's your position and what you should do, and he'll guide you. Done, and learning in the... Actually, I already have, and pretty much my calling is to help out my fellow Israelite brothers to, you know, the flock, to help bring certain people that need to be, you know, so even though I know I'm not in a bad position, just like some of the rest of my brothers, but, you know, like you said, it's still a process, you know what I mean? So other people that need to really hear this, to build them up, because I know it's other people who are better than me. So those are the people that I have, you know what I'm saying? Like pretty much, I get in contact with, and a lot of those people respect me, you know what I'm saying? They give me the most, utmost respect, you know what I'm saying? And they believe in me, and they believe in a lot of things that I say because they know I'm not a liar. So, you know, for that being said, knowing that, you know, y'all brothers are out here in Vegas, just like I was telling the bro right here, like, you know, I, I study. things that a lot of brothers do when they do come into the knowledge of, of, of Israel they watch different camps and they'll start to uh, uh, listen to certain teachings that different camps are teaching yeah. and a lot of the times if you're not um, if you're not stable in the spirit yeah and certain uh, uh, information that can confuse you right? yeah yeah because not every Israelite teach the same thing Every it's, it's a reason why there's different Israelite groups because they all they, they all are separated by the, the, the doctrine that they teach. 
you know? So be careful to watch all these different camps because it might be certain things that an Israelite camp that you might be uh, uh, watching, they might, they might be uh, telling you, yeah, we Israel. They're telling you, yeah, we're supposed to keep the commandments. But you might have a group that's telling you, but the Gentiles can make it. The Gentiles, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, uh, the Edomites and Moabites and the other nations. basically these other nations, they can be saved. There's Israelite groups that, that teach that. You got camps that, that teach. It's okay to take, you know, the chip, the, 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 um, that new uh, uh, The RFID chip. chip. Yeah, oh, yeah, that, yeah. but I'm also talking about this. Oh, this the, 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 uh, the shot. The jab, that, that new shot that's out there that, that Moderna and all of them are. And then uh, Pfizer, yeah. and some of them say it's okay to take that. You got to look at their whole doctrine now, because yeah. the, the scriptures say it's a lot, because well, but the scriptures say um, a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. So if, if they're saying that that's okay, you got to go be able to say, if there's something wrong with it, if you know that's wrong, you can't always follow them, because there's somewhere you're going to get mixed up. You can pick up some things out of them, but the, the camps that have it right, you good, you good, you good, you good, just walk, before here. You know what I mean? pretty much like three, three camps that I watched. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what are, what are the, uh, the camps that you have? Um, I know it's, uh, one of them is, I believe, uh, Sakari. Sakari, okay, yeah, and they, they, they're really an offshoot of, uh, Great Millstone. Yeah. And their leader, he was a part of, uh, Great Millstone, we, uh, Great Millstone, GMS. So they, their their doctrine is really like not off, really not too close. far from off. Yeah. Right. So that so that's really that's cool. You can watch the Kari. Who who are the uh, the other two? Um, I forgot the other camp. You know you I know. Do you know any kind of? Do they wear purple or gold or? Uh, like gold and black. Gold and black. Mm. Uh, is that that one, ain't one body? Is it? Yeah, one I think body it's one, body. Yeah, one body. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they they. Oh, <laughs> See, they, they push Israel and they teach Yahweh Shai, they, they teach the name, but there's things that we got yeah. disagree uh, agreements with them on, you know? And, and that's why we say you kind of got to, um, you got to use discernment and, and yeah. be watching, you know, the scriptures say to try the spirit by the spirit. You know, the scriptures talk about uh, 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 being diligent, um, Search the scriptures. Yeah. yeah. It tells you how to be prudent. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Huh. From second, uh, uh, second Timothy, the second chapter. Yeah. Because you have to go and, and prove what they're saying. Yeah. It says, approve uh, all things, hold mm -hmm. fast that which is good. Right. So when you go and double check over some of the teachings, you got to do that work. Because this is your, hey, because we were talking about it last night when we did a live stream, that uh, this is a life and death decision who you choose to follow. Okay, and if you choose the wrong group that says it's okay to take the RFID microchip, don't follow that, that group. That ain't the mark of the beast. That that a guy like that was saying the micro, uh, the, the the mark of the beast is in your mind, your in your brain, or whatever he said. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna get you jacked up. Yeah. Right. yeah. right. One one body, they, they they don't believe the chip is uh the, the microchip is the mark of the beast. Sakari do. Yeah. Takari, they teach the uh, the chip is the mark of the beast, but one body, you know, the the, uh, the head dude, he said, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he basically scoffed at it, you know. And we 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 bring up the mark of the beast because that's a major major prophecy. The final exam. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like that's the hour of temptation. So we we push that heavy because, uh -huh. uh, and and that's what separates us from a lot of other groups. Right. You know, the, the that mark of the beast and. It's simple to us, but these other groups, they make it co more complicated than it, than it actually is. So, you know, all right. I can't really give you a definite answer on what it is. And like we telling you, like, the sign here, it's that, it's, it's that oh, it's there, technology yeah. that's, that, that's going to be put inside your body. Yeah. You're saying it's this technology that's going to be put inside your body. And when That's a clear yeah, something yeah, that we yeah. can tell you. Yeah. They can't give you something clear. Oh, it's your brain, or it's, it's philosophy, or it's sin, or it's sin, or it's, or whatever. Right. You know, they give you things like, okay, so which sin, which this? Can, how can I repent? Can I repent from that? Once you put that in your body, you can't repent from it, but you can repent from sin. So that means you. That's what I'm saying about right, rightfully dividing the word of truth. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Man. Yeah. You gotta, you yeah. Know, yeah. Okay. Like. Try, try all of them. To ask each camp that you watch, what is the mark of the beast? Like, go on a comic board. Brother, what is the mark of the beast? Edify me on that. 
I guarantee you, based on what you're watching, they're gonna give you different answers. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure they will. That's why I just let the spirit, you know what I'm saying, help guide me. Mm -hmm. That's what helped me pretty much understand and know. That's why out of all the times that I watched, I pretty much narrowed it down to Sakari and one body. Because it's still something with that camp that's good, but it's still, you know, certain things have to get brought out to the light. Right. You know, I guess somebody have to step up for righteousness in that camp. Mm -hmm. you know, so and, until then, but other than that, like Sakari was one of the main ones that I started watching from the beginning, at least about a year ago. So, you know, other than that, yeah. you know, like being spirit led and, and how God used me, you know, I, I, I have to let him. Can if, if you ever you know because we out here every Sunday. Okay. Whatever if, if you're able uh, to have the time, come out here each week. Mm -hmm. We'll edify you on whatever mm -hmm. topic you, you got in question. So, so if, there, if there's somebody because you're saying you you have people that listen to you and all that. If there's somebody you think that's ready to, to make this type of a change, mm -hmm. but, but make it. Yeah. But, the, but they're you know then come on out. Yeah, come on, them on, them. Like or, or if, yeah, come. They got questions. All of that, you know. Yeah, most definitely. With the scriptures, man. Because we're gonna, we're, we're never gonna give you an answer from our own opinions. We're gonna right. show you the scriptures and and break everything down, okay. just like the Mark of the Beast. We go into, you know, several levels of how you know the Mark of the Beast and correlate it to what's going on now, the current events. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that that so so you understand what we do and what we offer. I hate to say it that way, but you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. what, what, what we teach up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm a thousand. And that's why I have to, you know, that's why I had to stop and, you know what I'm saying, conversate, you know what I'm saying, with y'all and make sure, you know what I'm saying, you know, I, I do what, I, what I'm asking, you know what I'm saying. Around 1.30. Oh, so my job trying to have this work seven days a week with no offense. So I'm, I'm thankful that we are able, able to get this day. That way, that I want to see you so that way I can get closer to my job because I, I you know, stayed out far from here. So, and it's just, it's just, you know what I'm saying, the guy is going to post high for y'all to be here and me be down the street because all the studying and all the watching and all of the Bible and, and everything I'm doing, like, you know, the most I have his way of doing things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and get right to Isaiah 30 and 20. Isaiah 30 and 20. So that's why I actually came out. So, oh. hey, what you yeah. doing? Yeah. Brother Lurie, what, 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 what just happened? Yeah. It's Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Go ahead. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And you know, you saw you, you saw us, you came and you walked by and you're like, man, these, you know, these these are the teachers right here. Wait, right. hey, that's the Lord said this would happen. Right. You know, you're gonna see your teachers out there basically uh, prophesying you know, and, and, and teaching. The, the, uh, rightly dividing the word of truth. Right. The Lord brought you up here for a reason. Yep. Verse 21. In thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Yep. When ye turn to you the... Said, I know I, it made me think about when he said, I, I know I got business, but this 
come first. That was that word mm -hmm. directing you over here. You know? You got it, bro. Kaj. Uh, Kaj. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left. We've got teachers all over. The Lord said, uh, was that Jeremiah 3 and 15? I have, I'll give you pastors according to my heart that shall lead you with knowledge and, and, and wisdom. And those men are all over all over the world, man. And then we have to find a stretch. And there's not a lot of time left, man. That you still got brothers waking up and you know they're inquiring and they're, 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 uh, uh, they're seeking you know you had uh, uh, earlier it was a there was an old dude there was an older dude that came up and he he used to uh, be a part of this thing he used to teach like what we're doing years ago but, but for whatever reason he fell back into the world he stopped doing it and then he came up here and he tried to you know, and uh, uh, he tried to usurp authority. He, he, you know, he came up here and, and, you know. Yeah. See how you came up humble and, and, and you know, sincerely asking questions. That's how this guy should have came up, you know. But, hey, he, he didn't have the, the spirit of the Lord definitely left him a long time ago. And if we wasn't out here these previous years, y'all brothers would, you know, you, yeah. You'll be still searching and seeking like that. Because yeah. before this truth, we was all, you know, to, uh, uh, path seeking, so to speak. So yeah. We were searching for the truth. Yeah. We was all in the churches. We was all in this religion, that religion. Yeah. You know, you was probably a, a, learning a, a, about Illumina Illuminati. Learning about and the Illuminati and all this other yeah. stuff. You know, but it was like that was like okay, we're like but you know that something was like nah, man. There's more, man. There's this, you know, some some ain't hitting, man. You know. And scriptures tell you in uh, uh, Romans, man, the the, uh, the election uh, have attained uh, it, but the rest were blinded. No, that's that one. Well, what it says up above that, Israel have not obtained which they seek it for. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. You know, once you come into the, the knowledge of the truth, this is where you because this world teaches you to be open-minded, right? You gotta have a. You gotta keep an open mind. Meaning, you gotta, you gotta accept any and everything. You gotta go into this religion, that religion, this philosophy, that philosophy. But according to this, once you found your way into this, you really supposed to, you really supposed to close. You really supposed to close your mind and actually. Uh, 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 go ahead. It's uh, Sirach five and nine. We know not with every wind. And go not into every way. Yeah. For so doth the sinner that hath a double tongue be steadfast. There's, there's, there's a lot of different people that are watch different groups. And they'll have one understanding from this group, then they'll take that same understanding on another topic and have it from another group. But they won't mix together. And when it, when time comes, because the words should flow all in one thing together. Like like I'll give an example. Uh, there's, a, there's a scripture talking about Cornelius, right? When you talk about Cornelius uh, being, uh, and what he was doing and who and who was uh, taught after that, if you're saying that other people can make it, then you, then you don't understand the scripture because huh. the Heavenly Father never said that. Yeah. And at some point, it's going to start to bleed over and, you, and your understanding is going to get thrown out. Yeah. Because if it's only for Israel, even though he was a, a, um, a devout man of the Italian band, that doesn't make him a white Italian, Roman citizen. He had to be an Israelite, okay? And not just to, to make quick example of it, but when you start with one place, it's gonna end up somewhere else. Well, how could, if he had it, how could he be an Israelite? And you know, you get lost in, in the sauce, and you get confused, and then you be like, ah, forget about it. And that's what a lot of guys is coming up to. And you'll, you'll miss the point of what's really supposed to be happening. It's, it's, and sometimes you have guys that, that 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 speak well. They they you know they you know you may like the way they um, they present their words and their precepts, 
and whatever they say you you're you know you adhere to you believe but sometimes they might not have the truth all the time right. you know where, where they use fair speech and you, i like how the way he speaks but he may not have the truth like 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 nate for example steadfast in thy understanding and let thy word be the same. Hey, and that's one thing that we try to make sure we promote that everything that we talk about that we do is, 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 is it was about the word. We don't mix in our opinion, we don't mix in uh, popularity or something that sounds good. And hey, we, we've been known, I'm not going to bring up the topics, but we've been known to say things that people don't like to hear about. But guess what? It's in the scriptures. God. And it's yep. in there for a reason, and we make sure that people understand what it's in there for. Yeah. Some people miss it being emotional, but they, but they, but you know, but you can't say that it was in there and you didn't know about it. Right. We're gonna make sure we search it all out and show it to you that it may benefit you. You know, a lot of our people, a lot of our people don't want to accept the harsh realities that's that's coming to America and yep. the harsh realities of things that took place in the scriptures. Fine, yep. like what you're saying, just that in itself. Hey, cause America ain't coming back. That's yeah. what that's what Jake don't uh, realize. America is never about to return back to the state where you were once comfortable. Yeah. Why? Because the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah don't want it to return to that state. Right. So this place is through. So what do we need to do? We need to continue. Hey, continuing the things where we're taught. Okay. You know. Hey, get stronger in the faith. Yeah. Hey, allow wisdom to be built up within you. Hey, because that's what's gonna keep you stable in your days, as the scripture said. That's all we can do. You know, continue to pray, continue to fast. Hey, um, you can do the the GMS homeworks if you got to, uh, if you want to be built up more in the spirit. We always bring that up because that's a great place to start. You know, just go on YouTube, type in GMS homeworks, and start off with the test because you're gonna get built up like that. It's gonna force you to read more and yeah. to break down words and stuff. Kind. He got something real quick. You want to, you want to break that top, out? Yeah, top. Okay. All right. It's Second uh, Timothy chapter two and verse one. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the in the grace that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Be strong in that grace means don't waste the time. This grace period, to, to the grace period set up to get yourself right. But don't waste it. You know, because one day that, that time, it's like the study. Y'all got 30 minutes to study before this test. And then when the 30 minutes is up, that grace period is up to learn. Now you just got to go to the test. And that test is how to be built up and be ready for that uh, for that hour of temptation, you know, to, to take the mark of the beast or not. Are you going to use that time to be like, oh, I want to eat, or do I want to stay faithful to the Lord? Or do I want to live comfortably, or do I want to stay faithful to the Lord? You know what And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, uh -huh. the same commit thou to faithful men. You shall be able to teach others also. So the things that we learn in the scriptures, what we're going to teach to a point that you know it, that you can teach that flock that you was talking about, that, you know, or bring them here and we'll teach them whatever. But we're, our idea is to build up every man that comes to present themselves uh, to the Heavenly Father, that we get them on a the level to where they can also teach others and, and keep building that way. That each man is now stable with the knowledge and wisdom that they can help to make other men stable inside themselves with the knowledge of wisdom. Going Under the power of the Alabama. God, going back to that parable of the workers, yep. you know, about the men that have been working uh, before, you know, the men that joined yep. the 11th hour. Yep. <clears throat> keep, keep reading. Verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. No you man that... Hardness is going to be tough. You got to put the work in there. You know, expect it to be tough. Like the scripture, I'm going to quote it. This is right there in the second chapter. It says, When thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy, thy, thy soul for temptation. Ecclesiastes 1 and um, the uh, second to last verse is good too. Uh, uh -huh. I knew, um, I, what is it? I seek to know wisdom and uh -huh. uh, I can't, I, I, you, gotta, yeah, I, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But yeah, somebody grabbed somebody it. Somebody grabbed it. To, yeah. to clear it up. But, but in that second chapter of the book of Sirach and the Apocrypha, and tell you that you're going to come across things that's going to be tough. Deal with those that those are meant to build you up in a nutshell. But when you read that verse, that those verses, you'll see that it's, that's basically what he's talking about. But you got to do got that it. work. Right. What did you say? All right, please ask these one in uh, 17. 17. Yeah. When I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly, I perceived that this is also 
vexation of spirit, for in much wisdom is much grief. Mm -hmm. And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. It's going to be hard having this information, knowing the things that are coming, but these are the things coming. And, and the more that you know about it, the more that you're preparing yourself spiritually for it, the more able you'll be able to, to, uh, to deal with it as it comes and, and, and survive through the overcome it through, through, through the Heavenly Father, you know? Because you're not here, the way you came up, you didn't come up like the, 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 uh, the guy earlier. He came up, like I was doing this for years and all. We didn't, even get, we didn't even get all that far into it because the way the energy came up to you was wrong. You came up in a humble spirit, so we're gonna try to guide you to the way that, you know, that, that, uh, that we know that it's supposed to be. So, that, that was pretty much it, bro. Yeah. That, was, that was the point, you know, yeah. the point of yeah. well, I'm going to take the knowledge that you have to do. I mean, it's always a pleasure and, a, and an honor. You know, just like I said, I, you know, I, I always study. But, you know, I never really had to understand it until I started watching a lot of the YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Then I started piecing certain things. Like, right. If it didn't sound right, just like you said, yep. uh, the most I would stray me away from it just lead me to the, the right people that I need to listen to. You know what I'm saying? To get the right understanding. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Just to make sure I have all the right tools that I need, you know, for the test. So, you know. Yeah. And you see, this, you see this brother been here, right? Yeah. But look what is in, in his hands. He got notes, you know. He's always jotting down. He got questions. You know, he come out making sure anything that he's not sure about, we do our we do our best to try to to answer. Yeah, like we don't we run out of time. We run out of time most times. Yeah. But but you know because the depth of the question. But a lot of YouTube videos were answered as well. So, yeah. so most definitely, it's, I might have checked y'all out on YouTube. Uh, any type of any videos from any intro like him that you know the Most High direct me to. You know I, I look at and I listen to because it's it's a reason. For it's, it's a lot of them that I don't even watch, just like I said, but it's only certain ones that I do watch because I feel it's only beneficial to my spirit because all, everything that they, they're saying, the lining don't match up. That's why Safari always been one of the ones I was listening to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 we need to get started to get but, hot. But, but I'm saying, <laughs> two o'clock, we should be. Okay. Okay. You know, and I'll say this you don't have to, when we say this to anybody, you don't got to take our word. Whatever you hear us saying, go into the scriptures and see if what we're saying is true. Right. Oh, I already know. All, always do that. Now our elders have taught us, taught us the same it's thing. A good, it's a good practice. You know? Even if you believe what we're saying, go make sure that you know where it's at. Do that what you hear. Yeah. You do that with all caps. Because yeah. the scriptures say yeah. the, the simple believe of every word, but the prudent man look will to his goal. Yeah. Right. You're gonna look into it. You ain't gonna be like, well. They, they said it, it, it sounds good. Right. You know, I like the way it sounds, so yeah. it must be true. No, you gotta like, do the right. research for yourself. Well, we gonna, we'll, we, I won't tell you. We're gonna put you in the spiritual work, bro. We're gonna yeah, put yeah, you in the spiritual work. I'll be in the spiritual work. Yeah. And so, and like, like, if you come back next week, if you got questions, throw them out to us. And, we, and we'll, we'll, we'll do, do our best through the spirit to answer you thoroughly. What's the main thing, real quick? What's the main thing that you write down? 
we'd be out here where we said it from, where, we, where the Bible quotes was, right? Oh, uh, yes. You always ask, where was that at? I know you say that a lot. Yeah, where, where was that at? And then, you know, then he's tying it into the, to the question. Yeah. And knowing, because yeah. that's where the power of this book is at, is knowing where it's at and having a full understanding. Saying, so. a, a lot of times when you do look up stuff that's, that's on, out, on your so. own, you'll you remember it. You'll it's, it, you'll remember it because you remember looking it up, yep. versus right. us telling you. Yep. You know. Right. Now I need to study up on when the feast day. That's one thing I, I've been doing a lot of studying up on everything else. Mm -hmm. um, learning to keep the Sabbath and just making sure you know what I'm saying. I, I learned the feast day. So that's one of my uh, next things is to find the feast day. Days they are because you know those are days we have to celebrate. Okay? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. You know, other than um, that, if, if you come next week, um, we'll break we'll break the Sabbath down to you. I'm not sure how you keep it. We'll take scripture sake, you yeah. know, and then we can show you what the, how holy days are, and then and then we'll break the whole how we keep it down. You know, we can show you all how we how we do. Close out. We're gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash. Great millstone, peace, and salutation to the elect. I want to say, Shalom. Shalom.